In this example, we're going to be determining the surface area of the half cylinder that it's given here below. So we have some parts of the cylinder already, uh, or the half cylinder already labeled, uh, but let's just identify them. So right here, this is the height of our cylinder. Okay, so our height is equal to five centimeters. And here, this is the diameter of our cylinder. Now, when we're doing calculations with the cylinder, though, we usually need the radius. So I'm going to label this as the diameter, but now we're going to determine the radius. So remember, radius is equal to diameter divided by 2. So that's 6 divided by 2, and that gives us a radius of 3 centimeters. So the formula for surface area of a cylinder is 2 times pi times r squared plus 2 times pi times r times h. Now this is for a full cylinder and we only need a half cylinder. So we are going to divide all of this by 2. And we have the radius and we have the height, so we're going to plug in all of that information. I'm going to use 3.14 for pi. So we have 2 times 3.14 times 3 squared plus 2 times 3.14 times 3 times 5. Okay, and all of that is divided by 2. So, what I just want to point out here are the different parts of the formula. So this 2 pi r squared, that would usually take care of the two circles on the end of the cylinder. And then here, this is the lateral area, so the sides of the cylinder. But right now, we only need half of all of that, as you can see from over here. So let's make sure we do bed mass. Again, many of you will have calculators that do bed mass for you, but just in case you do not, it's important to do your exponents before your multiplication. So here we can multiply all of this together and you get 94.2 and then all of this divided by two at the end. So two times 3.14 times nine gives us 56. 52, and then we add that to 94.2 and divide it by 2. Here we get 150.72 divided by 2, and we're going to round to one decimal place. So this is going to give us approximately 75.4 centimeters squared. Now this is of our half cylinder. Now, we're not quite finished though, because we are missing a part. We have not done this surface area right here, right across the top, okay? This isn't a hollow half cylinder. It's not like you've cut um, a tube in half and it's all hollowed out. So we have another flat surface right there that we need to take care of, and that's a rectangle. So the area of a rectangle is length times width. So our length is five, our width is six, and that's going to give us 30 centimeters squared. And lastly, we're gonna add these two things together here to get our total surface area. So 75.4, plus 30, and that's going to give us 105.4 centimeters squared as our final answer.